Hello everybody, I'm done doing what I was going to do, and uh, I got my power resistor mounted here, both of them, uh, one 600 ohm is for supplementing the fuel coil and the choke here. I got a total of about 2000 ohms, and the other 600 ohm resistor goes to the center tap of the output transformer and that lowers the voltage to the output tubes and I rechecked all the voltages and grid voltages again and uh, for the screen grids I was getting about 96 97 instead of 101 so that went a little bit lower because I replaced the power resistors here and the ones that were hanging in the front here if you can see, remember the last video, and if you look real close, I got a power resistor right against the chassis back here, and I used a piece of multi-stranded wire. I wrapped it around there, not too tight. I did it to hold it against the chassis, and it goes around those two holes around the exterior of the chassis. So it's really not that noticeable because the chassis is stainless steel painted. So I got it, you know, just tight enough to hold it against. I didn't over tighten it because when it heats up, you don't want it to crack due to thermal expansion. So anyway, back to the voltages here. And uh, 66 RF, 687 detector. Like instead of 242, I'm getting 243. And 244, I'm getting 243. And let's see, there's more another screen grid for the IF. Instead of 101, I'm getting 96. And instead of 242, I'm getting 236. It's all pretty close. Uh, it's drive tube, right on the money, 247. I'm getting 247 for the plate, 247 for the plate. A little higher on um, the 42 power tubes. The screen grids, um, 250 volts instead of 247. And instead of 376, I'm getting between 389 and 394 at full volume. That's about plus 4.5%, uh, a little too high. And that verse is about, about minus 4%, too low for the screen grids. But I wanted to show you something here. I was looking up information on the internet. And this is information from uh, <clears throat> General Electric on the 42 power tube power amplifier pentode and for um, for a pentode wiring here um, they do say it's um, for the plate voltage uh, the uh, design center is 375 volts uh, the absolute that you can run it at is 415 so I'm running between 389 and uh, 394 so that's that's under the absolute and I got it best as I could as close as I could get on that but that's about it so it's 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 in the spec and I'm happy about that and I'm gonna leave it and it's not like I'm gonna be playing this radio every day eight hours a day I'll probably play it like two or three hours a week and that's about it so you know I think the tubes are okay though and then what else did I do here? Real quick, I, uh, I put Super Corona Dope on the wires here that were slightly burned from those other resistors. And uh, I put some Super Corona Dope on this wire because that was one of the, a rubber wire, so I coated that pretty good. And uh, let's see, let me give you like two little tips real quick here. Uh, this tool is real handy. It's like... Um, one of these hands tools and I use this a lot to to solder the, the speaker like wires on you know just hold the wire in place and then you can solder it it's a really good tool to have and uh, I did some more experimentation on on this output transformer there was two possible configurations I could do it and one was for uh, for the three point it was for a four ohm voice voice coil I have 3.8 ohm voice coil and one was set for 11,000 ohms, and the other was set for um, 8,800 ohms for the impedance. 
and I found out that the setting for 8800 ohms gave better sound. So I, I experimented a little with that and I, I got that set pretty good. And the other thing I wanted to tell you, and this is like a pretty good tip I think, uh, when you're drilling holes in a speaker, it's like first use a center punch to, to mark the hole and everyone probably know, known that already. Well, this is a neat little trick. You can take like this sleeve, go to the hardware store like Ace or something and I don't know if Home Depot has these or not. But you could take a little sleeve and it tightens up with it with an Allen wrench like there and you put the sleeve over on the drill and you tighten it in there and now when you when you drill holes in with your drill your drill bit isn't going to go like all like through the speaker and hitting your cone. It'll just stop right where that sleeve is. So that worked really well. I was really happy about that. And the guy at Ace told me, hey, why don't you try that? And I said, wow, great idea. Great idea. Okay, well, I'm going to fire it up, uh, so to speak, and let's see what it does. I got it weaned off the Variac now. I'm not using that anymore. I'm not hooked to the isolation now. I'm just plugged right directly into the strip right here. So here goes, here goes nothing. I should lower these lights a little here. Morning, Cairo Peggy. 염증을 잡아야 통증도 잡을 수 있고 사고 상의 휴증을 최소화할 수 있습니다. 염증 잡는 모닝 카이로프랙틱 모닝 카이로프랙틱 인터넷으로 출발대로 확장 이전했습니다. 770-451-0400 음? I don't like the sanctimony with my sports. I just like splashy headlines and fun. But the, the, the thing about Selena Roberts that uh, I did find a little, little off-putting is her take on the Duke of Cross scandal. She was like raring to go on those guys. They, they were guilty. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to burn in a little bit more. And then I'm going to put the cover all on this radio here. Get the cover all hooked up again. I got it hiding in the cabinet here. There is, um, here it is here. Here's the, here's the chassis pan cover that I had painted. So that's going to go on. And then I'm going to install the radio in the chassis to, I gotta make space on the table. Then I gotta make a little shim for the speaker. It's, it's gonna be um, out of a hardwood. I'm gonna make it like a, like a, a U shape or something similar to that. That's gonna build it up about an inch. I got an inch thick, inch thick wood. I'm gonna cut it out with a, um, with a thin jigsaw. And then after I put the radio in the chassis, then I'll, then I'll mount the speaker. But in the meantime, I'll put the speaker in, in a safe place. And so that's about it. So um, I guess the next video will be I'll have everything uh, shoved in the chassis. And uh, I mean, have the chassis shoved in the cabinet. And uh, we'll see how everything works. So uh, take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.